Hi guys, this is Michelle, the Ignited Teacher from FuelGreatMinds.com. Today I'm talking a little bit about interactive notebooks. I conduct Workshop Wednesday on my Facebook page um, and teaching tips for struggling learners. If you're not a part of my Facebook group, send me a request and I will add you. But let me get back to interactive notebooks. They, teachers ask me all the time, well, I want to know about interactive notebooks, how to set them up. I want to try them this year. Well, my response to the lady that asked the question is, interactive notebooks are a great tool. But before you implement interactive notebooks in your classroom, I will highly suggest you reflect on why you need an interactive notebook and what its purpose that is going to serve. Interactive notebooks in my classroom, the purpose that they serve is that they are an organization tool for my students and it's also their own, at the end of the school year, they've created a math book that reflects their learning and things in that help them remember different skills that we've covered over the school year because as you know math is comprehensive and the skills change and we have different strands of mathematics that we use or go through through in through the school year so let me get started a little bit with my interactive notebook well in my interactive notebooks I begin with a cover page First of all, some of the cover pages, um, well, the interactive notebooks may get misplaced. I keep them in a crate inside my classroom so that I know where each one is. Also, I keep an interactive notebook for each class period. This was my second period class. This was third. And this was my fourth period of class because I have four sections. And I highly recommend that because each class has its own personality and its own pacing. Even though you're teaching in the same class, you have some classes that may be higher, some classes that may be lower. So if you use a notebook for <clears throat> each of the classes, you don't have to worry about, okay, where did I leave off with this class? It's already in your notebook. So, in my notebooks, like I said, I started with a cover page, but then I always use this interactive notebook um, rubric. The rubric is something that they can refer back to. I did not do well last year with checking mine. I started out really well, but as you, as you know with education, we kind of get off track and things happen. So next year I plan on trying to do a better job of grading them and giving them a, a grade for each nine weeks. So this is the rubric. The rubric is important because if your parents ask, well, how do they get a low grade? Well, they're not keeping up with their notebook. This is a rubric. It was explained to them at the beginning of the year. And it puts the... Um, responsibility back off on the children. Also, there's a goals page. Then there's a My Math Plan page. How are they going to achieve these goals? Because having goals is great, but what is your action plan? How are you going to achieve those goals? After that, I input redraw white problem solving strategy. And this is important because we use this all year and it's a reference point and it introduces them to the problem solving strategy where the children may not have it in, have had it in the previous grade level after that I model for the kids the redraw white process using the interactive notebook template so on the left side here's where I write my things and the kids write them so on the right side there's the redraw white foldable. And the foldable takes them through modeling of the redraw white process. It breaks the problem down into the sections that I need them to have. As you know, math is a lot. 
And if I just flip through here, I did some literacy strategies, which I plan on refining this. If you're going to use interactive notebooks, I suggest that you not use crayons because crayons get messy. I use colored pencils. Also, glue, that's kind of controversial. Some, some of the notebooks with uh, Elmer's glue, it will crinkle the pages, so I wouldn't recommend that. And the kids don't use, they use too much. So, I would prefer, I prefer glue sticks. Also, with the interactive notebooks, I began this one at the beginning, well, not at the beginning of the year, during the summertime. And it was what I thought I wanted to use until I found these. These notebooks I recommend because they're larger and it also has a pocket in the front of it. So like if you don't finish something you can stick it in the front of it. Also the pages are wider. So like here's the associative property and the frame model you can see a lot better and as you can see it's much larger than the one subject notebooks that look like this and it has the plastic cover they sell they were selling these at Walmart for I think less than a dollar so I had the children just bring in the money because it was easier for me to go out and purchase them and bring them back so I will I prefer these and this is what I'm going to start out with next year so hopefully this was an informative video for you and if you would like to purchase my template you can visit my website www.fuelgreatminds.com also follow me by blog and you can sign up to receive my email list and updates so thank you and have a great day